Hello again there YouTube. Uh, just thought I'd post up this quick video update. Um, if you guys remember my festival power system, uh, well I've now put together Mark II, ready for a festival I'm going to tomorrow. Um, up there on the roof, just to try it out, I've got a little 3 watt panel, um, which I picked up off eBay for about 10 or 15 pounds. Uh, it's one I've had a while, um, so it's just got kind of spare. Um, and this is just running into my bedroom, and I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to be taking to the festival. Now, the problem I found with my old system was that the battery box was very heavy. Um, it did allow me to keep beers cold, but this year I'm going to France, and it's just not possible to take that kind of weight. So, effectively, I have gone for absolute minimalism. So, literally, what we have here, we've got the solar power wire coming in. This is going to be put on top of the tent with some gaffer tape. This is then running into a 12 amp hour deep cycle sealed lead acid battery. This then runs straight to a three cigarette lighter box with a USB port. I'm going to use the USB port to charge my phone and the lighter sockets power these lights of which I have got two. And these lights, not sure how easy it is for you to see, they only use three watts worth of power. Um, I've tested them and it's closer to five watts, but it's still pretty reasonable. So you're talking between three and five watts worth of power it's using from the battery, but these put out about 20 to 25 watts worth of light. And for camping, that is absolutely plenty. Um, now because this is designed to be a compact, lightweight system, I have not got a charge controller. Um, but I will be keeping an eye on the voltage, and effectively I'm just going to make sure the battery is never fully charged. So if I just flick a light on or something, this will then just bring the voltage down a bit. And you can see at the moment, uh, the little solar panel, which is 3 watts, is pretty much powering this light independently. Um, so yeah, in total I've got um, I've got two of these lights, so up to six watts worth of power drain, but these are plenty. I mean, I'm probably only going to use one in my tent because they are very bright. Um, and then if I want to, I've also got this little 12 volt fan. Um, in terms of drain, I found that this light here on its own is drawing about. 0.4 amps, so roughly about 5 watts thereabouts. And then on the USB port, I found that that is using about 0.3 amps. Um, I was concerned whether or not with this plugged in, whether it would have a drain purely to power this, even when nothing was plugged into it. Um, but it looks like it's some very good circuitry, because when there's nothing plugged in that USB port, it pulls no power. And this box here cost me the grand total of three pounds. All I've had to do is just strip the ends, and the same as my big festival power system, I've soldered, crimped, and heat shrunk all the cables. So literally, this battery is about the size of my hand. This is gonna go in my bag, with this, a light, and my mobile phone charger cable. And I estimate, without any light whatsoever, this battery, sorry, without any sunlight whatsoever, this battery will give me about seven to eight hours worth of light. With the panel, uh, it's extended massively because the difference between what the panel can give and what the light uses is minimal. If I flick this off now, you'll see the battery voltage start to jump up again. So I do need to keep an eye on it so it doesn't overcharge. But the idea of this is to take the absolute minimum. So we've literally got a, a small battery, a small panel, a little box to plug stuff into, and a light. Perfect for camping. It's lightweight. The only question remains is how sturdy these, uh, these fixings are going to be. They do bend, and I'm not sure how long they will last before they snap. Um, but we'll just have to see. Anyways, thanks for watching my videos. 
please comment and any questions let me know.